case presentation of lateral epicondylitis. A 37 years old female, school teacher by profession, presented in physiotherapy OPD with the complaint of pain in the lateral side of her right elbow. She was suffering with this pain from almost six months. According to her history, once her elbow was bumped into the wall, the pain was mild at that time, but the pain gradually increases with the passage of time. There was no associated past medical and surgical history. Her diet was normal, she had normal sleep-wake cycle. There was no history of any allergy. Her vitals like temperature, blood pressure, respiratory rate and pulse rate were in normal range. The review of systems shows no involvement of any systemic issue with this pain. Her lying, sitting and standing posture was normal. There was deep, aching, intermittent, pain present at the outer side of right elbow. Onset of pain was gradual. And the severity of pain was, 5 out of 10 according to numeric pain rating scale. Aggravating factors were repetitive activities with right arm, including writing or paper checking. Relieving factors were rest and painkillers. Inspection of right elbow shows no visible joint deformity, swelling, erythema or muscle wasting. On pulpiting the skin temp was normal, skin sensations was intact, and there was tenderness present on the lateral aspect of the right elbow. X-ray of right elbow shows no bony deformity. Her blood report was almost normal, just a slight increase in lymphocytes. Her range of motion was almost normal, but wrist extension of right side is slight limited. The manual muscle testing of wrist extensors of right side shows grade 4 plus. The muscle power of right wrist flexors, left wrist flexors and left wrist extensors was 5 out of 5. Cousin and Mills test was positive. Spurling test for radiculopathy was negative. Tinnel sign for ulnar nerve entrapment was negative. Varus stress test for stability of lateral collateral ligament of elbow was negative. The short-term goals was patient education about activity modification to prevent further damage, pain reduction and to gain the patient's confidence level. The long-term goals was to increase the muscle strength and to improve the patient's activities of daily life. Electrotherapeutic modalities including ultrasound, and transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulations was used. Manual therapy techniques including hemeroradial and radial nerve mobilizations, myofascial release techniques, and mulligan mobilization with movement was performed. Following exercises was advised, elbow eccentric exercises, form extensor stretch, Resisted supination and pronation, ball squeeze, and finger stretch with rubber band. Subscribe the YouTube channel, and press bell icon.